I thought we did some good things offensively. Obviously, wish that we could have put uh, you know more points on the board. Um, you know, a couple of things operationally. Wish I could have had back. But overall, I thought we did a good job of run the football and we're able to take advantage of some shots downfield. So overall, just impressed with um, you know obviously our defense played great and D offered a huge special teams play there at the end of the game was that was huge for us. Run game. We were running the crap out of the football, and um, you know it's great to see. Um, obviously, it, that opens up stuff in the play pass game, and uh, it was just great to see the O line, the second team O line, get in there and start wearing on those guys, and it was good to be behind it. Uh, when did you know you were starting, and how did it feel to get a, get a whole game in? Uh, found out yesterday, um, and uh, it was great. You know, uh, Coach Smith had come up to me and, and told me that I'd likely play the whole game, and. Was just excited and blessed to get this opportunity and for them to have the faith in me and ultimately come out and get a win today. I was just trying to get the, you know, I feel like I've seen the coverage pretty well and um, just trying to get the playmakers the ball in space. Um, they were doing a good job of getting open. Um, had some really good pockets early. Just tried to get them the ball as quick as I could and keep the ball moving forward. Yeah, I think so. I think throughout the week of practice, we, we, we felt like we could run the football really well. Um, and then obviously, once we got in the game, we got in the flow of running the football. And then, you know, Coach Art and uh, Rags did a great job of calling some play passes in there. And they were open, and we were lucky enough to hit them. So it was great. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's big, um, especially the first week of preseason, just to have the film on them, you know, going through practice, kind of seeing what they're doing, have an idea of what we think they're going to see coming into the game. And then, you know, ultimately, a lot of the plays that we ran tonight were, you know, we're in all week. So that, that gave me some, some comfort, comfortability there. And um, it was good to just go out there and execute. Um, I mean, it just goes back to practice. Uh, we talked about it all camp. That's who we want to be. That's the type of defense we want to be. We want to attack and we want to be aggressive. And I think today we kind of showed that we're in the right direction to where we want to be as a defense. Uh, the biggest thing for us, we don't flinch as a def defense. We kind of have that uh, next play mentality. Uh, Coach Ryan talked about it. Uh, pretty much all the coaches talked about it. Just next play, no matter what, ha what happened this play, at least give us another opportunity to defend the end zone. So I think it's pretty good. Like when you see it, see those things, the coaches kind of preached it uh, th throughout the whole camp. And I think uh, seeing that actually happen in the game, the whole defense starting to believe in it. Yeah. Across, spin move inside that worked pretty well for you, and, mm -hmm. and then you, you were able to get somebody on the ground. Like as, as like as you look at this week as a whole, like what do you think you, you were able to get done over the last five days? Well, I think being a uh, kind of doing different things this year in terms of being asked to be more versatile on the defense. I think I uh, kind of needed those reps to kind of, it's one thing doing our practice, you kind of need those live uh, reps to kind of get the experience uh, to where when you get to the regular season, you kind of have a step ahead. So I love it. I feel like I definitely got better today. Do you like this role that, like you're saying, you're doing? You know, I love it. I love it, you know, just um, even going back to college, I was never really asked to uh, be in coverage as much. So, I mean, I knew I could do it, but I wasn't asked to do it. So just being able to do it now, do, doing a lot of different things. I mean, I love it. I think sometimes I, I, a lot of this locker room respects is D offered. And to see him return that tonight, what were kind of y'all's emotions on, on the sideline watching him do that? Well, I actually was on the field yeah. when, when that happened. And I, I gave my body for him to return it. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt good, you know. I was on the ground and just looking back, it was all the way to the end zone. It, it was good. It was good energy th throughout the whole team, for sure. You guys, you looked like you guys were having fun out there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 
Yeah, it, it's encouraging. Uh, it doesn't matter who was, who was out there. Just having fun as a whole unit, you know, is, I say it's contagious uh, leading up to the season, you know. Uh, making those plays, having those energy plays, everybody feed off it, not just the defense, the offense as well, and the special team. At the end of the day, we're a whole uh, team, and we go out there together. So just to be able to feed off everybody's energy, I mean, it's just, it can only lead to success. Well, I say you also have to give credit to uh, Marquise. Like, just he tries to keep it simple, just for us to go out there and be, attack and and be aggressive. You know, just um, that's his mantra. Like, he wants us to go out there and play fast and attack. He doesn't have a ton of things that he put out uh, throughout the week. He doesn't want people to overthink it. He just wants us to play fast, and I think it kind of shows uh, throughout the past couple of years, especially on special team. You just have people flying out there. Uh, I feel like uh, we just kept the hope. You know, we stayed together. Um, we stayed tough. We was uh, we was talking about it uh, the whole game. You know, they don't score, they don't score, and and we held our end. Credit to the coaching staff. I felt like uh, we work a lot of uh, situations in practice. I feel like in the meeting room, you know, they coaching us up. You know, they um, they uh, getting us prepared for all these situations. And when they came up, you know, we just executed. I feel like the name of the game is execution. And uh, I felt like we did it tonight uh, for the most part. How much did this week mean for you and kind of where you want to be um, of the C3 man touchdown at the end of the line? Uh, for me personally, I'm just trying to um, be with my feet at. Uh, stay level-headed and poised. I'm a uh, my whole mantra, my whole career has been uh, make the team, make the team better. Um, so that's just what I'm I'm here to do. I'm here to compete, and uh, whatever happens, happens. I just want to give it my best. I feel like just because uh, it's the way we practice and um, it's the way we prepare, you know, the coaches, they have, us, um, they have us prepared. So, and I feel like all the DBs, I feel like we hungry too. So, um, you know, it's a mix of just competing, competing in practice. So when the game come, you know, we can, we can execute. Why do you think the system fits what you do? Me personally? Yeah. Oh, I just, I just, I'm just out there competing. I'm just out there competing every play. Um, uh, whether it's practice, whether it's in the game. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to A, make the team, B, make the team better. So, you know, I'm going to do whatever I'm asked. Um, uh, the running back came out to one. I figured they wasn't throwing it to the running back, so I was kind of lagging off a little bit. And um, uh, the running back actually ran a go. I uh, lagged off. I saw the quarterback throw the ball, and I broke on it. Um, the uh, in a uh, practice, they preach run to the ball, and and good things go happen to you. And a good thing happened to me. I made a play. Good, thank you. Um, this defense really stepped up in the red zone, and you had what three stops right off the top of the bat. What, what did y'all kind of in those moments? What are kind of y'all's mindset as a defense? You know, you got to play every snap, and that's why we have four downs, and that's why you keep playing, even if the ball was on the one yard line. You know, we keep playing. Um, and I think we did a great job stepping up in those moments. The D-line getting pressure, safeties and corners having sticky coverage. And, um, you know, we preach being salty in the red zone. Um, that's going to help us win games um, in the regular season and hopefully in the postseason. AK said that you have a bunch of guys that don't have in moments. And Arthur Smith said that you have a bunch of guys who don't panic in those moments. Is that something that, that you were seeing as well in that first half? Yeah, for sure. I think that's part of the way we train, part of the way we practice. We practice so hard, we practice those situations. So when we get to the game that it's, you know, it's second, it's, you fall back on your training, no panic. Um, just get, put the ball down and we'll play that down um, no matter where the ball's put down. You hear Brian Nielsen say so much about playing aggressive. It 
seems like whether it was guys on the back end getting their hands on the ball or guys in, you know, in that front seven attacking, it felt like an aggressive style of defense. Is that a good start towards what you guys are trying to accomplish when you get to the regular season? For sure. Our motto as our defense is attack and aggressive. Those are the two things we live by, and those are the two things we want to achieve on each play. And I think um, we did a great job of that today. Always room for improvement. Um, but that's definitely our motto and our standard that we want to keep in our whole defensive, uh, our whole unit. What did you get out of you know, joint practices, first preseason game, kind of this week overall? Um, I think you just learn how to compete and how you match up and all your training in the last couple weeks, the training camp. Um, it's always fun to go out and compete against someone new, um, see how teams are going to scheme you. Um, joint practice is great. You know, you got to compete one on ones, um, seeing how your defense is holding up, how those guys are, the backups are trying to get up to the one spot, um, and you know, playing in the game, you're knocking some rust off. We haven't played football in a game like that in a couple of months. So um, during those practices in the game, it's great to knock some rust off, get some young guys in the game like myself, um, and just keep building depth for the whole team. Yeah, I think it builds confidence, um, you know, in all the guys and in the staff and um, just in our ability and, and what we've been preaching, like we said, being an, uh, an attack and aggressive defense, um, seeing, you know, the fruit of that come to life is always great, always room for improvement, like I said, but um, it's definitely a big confidence booster when you see it all come together. For sure. Yeah. Um, you know, I've always been told that you will take your biggest step from year one to year two. Um, and I feel that, you know, with the coach and the guys in my room pushing me and um, just having that that first year under my belt, um, it's been it's been a big help. Um, but a credit to the guys around me and the staff as well. How do you feel like the day went for you overall? Yeah, yeah, it was it was smooth. It was smooth. It was fun to finally get out there again. Um, was that was at the Cribio about two weeks ago? So it's funny how quickly things can change. So just grateful for the opportunity, and of course, again, opportunity to get out there and just help help our team win definitely means the world. For sure, for sure. Um, I mean, for me, um, my story has definitely always been the long way. It's never been, you know, the straight and narrow. So, you know, just taking taking account for for my story and what it is, and just being I've been in positions like this before. Um, just coming into coming into rooms and just having a battle and grind and just show what I have. And it's a great room to do it. A lot of the guys in there, obviously, super talented, but also, also super helpful. Coach P. Obviously, Coach Arthur. So it's it's a great culture. Guys is really wanting to make everybody better. So it's not it's not there's not many better places that I've been to to be able to just shine and um, and compete and kind of hold that high standard that the room has. Why do you feel that way in terms of kind of past places that you've been feeling like this is a good spot for you? Yeah, I mean it's 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 cool because you I mean you got guys like you know CP and Keith old heads that have that have seen a lot of things, been been through a lot of things. And then you got young guys, young, super talented guys like Tyler and, and Bijan and, and Los. Um, so just the, the spectrum is really wide. And I think that allows for a lot of cool perspective. Um, all the dudes in there are super humble and have obviously had a lot of success in different spheres and things like that. But there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's definitely a humility to the room that comes along with the talent that just allows everybody to, to thrive, honestly. So just being a part of that has been, it's been huge, super blessed. For sure, for sure. I think, um, you know, reality is, like I said, this, we, our, our, our room is full of talent. And so any way in which I can contribute, you know, might not be getting the rock in my hands um, So at first. So, you know, if I can go out there on special teams, make some tackles, go back there at returner, you know, set our offense up for great field position, you know, that's, that's what this league is about. You know, it might not be what you necessarily wanted to be at the moment, 
but it's taking advantage of, you know, your role at the time, and you never know how things unravel. That'd be dope. Wow. Yeah, for sure. I mean, first off, the O line was was going crazy. Those those boys were fired up, as you can see. They were they were hyping me up every time I got up. Let's go! You got. I'm like, okay. If you hear that, I'm like, I gotta bring it back again and again. So it was it was a lot of fun. I think just going out there hungry. Like I said, you know, came from from the crib. Didn't even know when the opportunity might come, but just staying ready for when it did come and. Um, definitely coming with a chip, chip on my shoulder, just uh, ready, ready and willing to prove myself. And it's a great scheme. I, I love the scheme that they have going on here. Kind of being able to hit it, you know, that fifth step, you know, see, break it back or take it outside, whatever, whatever leads you. Um, so definitely blessed to have had a lot of success tonight. You know, O-line did a great job. Coaches did a great job. So hopefully just keep stacking it up. With you, there's obviously several weeks left to go. There's two more preseason games, mm -hmm. a lot of For sure, no, no doubt. I'm super grateful. Um, one thing you know that I've learned playing this game is it's a lot of hills and valleys if you allow it to be that way. And so I, I definitely try to just remain even killed, you know, taking the success and seeing it for what it is, and understanding that you know the, it's a long road. So just letting it build my confidence, letting it you know add to you know my ability for further weeks and, and so on and so forth. But like we know, it's, it's a long journey. So just staying even killed, you know, taking it, co taking the coaching. You know, obviously there's some things that I could have done better today as well. So going back and fixing those things and, and just building for the next day. For sure. No doubt, no doubt. It's uh, it's it's strange. It's almost surreal because, like you said, we go like yeah. six months without any type of tackling. Of course, you're doing things in practice or whatever have you, but to actually get out there and just you know get a little hit on the shoulder pads, it's like okay, I can. You know, this is this is normal. This is back to like how it was when I was young, playing, you know, five six years old. So just always remembering that it's it's the same game, you know, different platform, different team. But, you know, we're all just out here trying to have fun and, and just play for each other, so for sure. It's been a few weeks, you know, in this preseason. What kind of goals do you have? I mean, kind of jumping off of the success of today, what, mm -hmm. what, what steps do you still want to make? Yeah, I mean, as you guys know, we're still in the dead heat of camp, so every day is like a, a game, low key. It's like every day I'm just trying to take a step forward and continue to prove myself. So it's kind of the same thing, even coming into Sunday, Obviously, we got a day off tomorrow. Sunday probably be a little more chill, but Monday is a, a full day of camp. So for me, it's like every day is is a game day. Every day is an opportunity to prove myself. So just trying to keep the same ambition, keep stay consistent. I think obviously coaches love trust. So just want to make sure they know that I, they can trust me to know what I'm supposed to be doing, to go out there and just give it all I have. It was smooth. It was smooth. I, you know, I can't gas it up too much, but <laughs> it was, I had fun out there. Um, like I said, O-line played well, great scheme. Logan did his thing, so it makes it easier to open the run game up. I had a lot of fun. I'll say that. Uh, you know, I just you know want to give credit to my teammates. You know, Coach Nielsen. Uh, you know, that's part of our mindset. You know, part of the plan that he had for us. You know, as a team, as a unit, you know, as a defense, is you know just always be attacking, aggressive. Um, you know, and it doesn't matter how close they get to the end zone. You know, the ball. You know, there's no point scored until they get across that line. So, you know, we just had that mindset. You know, it doesn't matter. You know how they got down here. You know, let's just make sure that they don't score. Yeah. What did that mean to you? Get a pick in the end zone for that. What was a good drive for them? Turn it on, on its head. Uh, it meant a lot to me. You know, it was just a blessing. Um, you know, I just wanted to 
you know, do the right thing um, as far as, you know, being on my keys, um, you know, making a play for, you know, the team, making a play for my guys out there. And, um, you know, you know, Trey, you know, he did a good a good job deflecting the ball, you know, hats off to Trey for, you know, giving me a chance to make that play. And, um, you know, he uh, put the ball in my possession and, uh, you know, I made sure that if he touched my hands, I caught it. And it was great for me. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's great hearing that, you know, from Coach Smith, you know, um, you know, for him and Terry, you know, believing in me, you know, I'm just, you know, having me here. And, um, you know, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I you know, don't let my coaches down. I uh, don't let my teammates down as far as, you know, what they expect from me. Um, you know, on defense, you know, I try to hold my teammates accountable. Um, and, you know, they hold me accountable as well. So, you know, every time I'm out there on the field, you know, I want to make sure that I'm giving my guys, you know, 110%. So, um, you know, that's why, I, you know, I'm always around the ball, you know, because, you know, the ball is, you know, that's how you win the game. So, you know, get the ball back. You know, that's what we say. So, um, you know, we did a great job out there as a defense today. You know, we gave up some plays, but, um, you know, we made some plays when it counted. Um, you know, I just got a, you know, great week of preparation as far as, you know, the Dolphins, you know, they were a great team. Um, you know, had some great guys on offense, you know, hats off to them. Um, you know, it was a, a time to, you know, get out there, you know, get acclimated um, to the weather a little bit, um, you know, and just be around, just be around my teammates for a couple of days to practice against those guys, you know, to, just to get, get a good feel for, you know, what we probably would see in the game as far as, you know, looks, um, formations and things like that. So uh, that joint practice, you know, it was definitely a great competition with those guys. And um, it definitely helped us a lot as a defense as far as, you know, what we see in the game. Uh, it's been great being around those guys. Um, you know, they've done a great job. You know, I, even though they didn't play today, um, they did a great job. You know, of, of encouraging the young guys. You know, letting us know. You know, just to be patient. Um, you know, that our plays will come to us. You know, that that you know, just you know, it's, it was my first um, NFL game, but you know, the field is still you know, 53 yards wide, 100 yards long. So, um, you know, it's just a different uniform. Um, you know, different team. But you know, those guys definitely did a great job of you know, helping us on the sideline as far as you know what we would see, uh, things that were happening to us. And they did a great job of encouraging us, you know, just to let us know that, you know, even though it was our first preseason game, that we were ready for the moment. There's a lot of game tape out there. And, you know, but sometimes in the preseason, you can have these little cameos, you're in for 15 or 20 snaps. But to play as much as you did and to kind of get into a flow, like, one, did you feel like that you got into one in terms of making calls and all those other types of things? And also, how, how much is this tape going to help you when you um, it's going to help me a lot. Um, as far as you know, my first first uh, preseason game, uh, it was a great you know opportunity for me to you know show my coaches what I can do, show my show my teammates what I can do as well, and um, it was also a great moment for me to you know get back on the field. You know, football is you know my favorite thing to do, so you know getting back dirty, uh, you know get a little bit of jitters, but all it takes is that first hit. Uh, you know, first contact, you know, you just realize, you know, I'm back playing football again. So that takes a lot of the pressure off. Uh, man, I'm like, okay, once I once I saw him, I knew I had the sideline, you know, with my speed. So I knew once I get past him, man, it was a touchdown. And that actually was my first one. So it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I mean, it means a lot, you know, like you said, it's the preseason, but in my head, hey, it don't matter if it was the regular season, the postseason, I still want to be able, you know, to uh, help my team, you know, get a win. And yeah, it's very important just knowing, you know, uh, we competing, you know, for, for that spot. And I just want to continue, you know, to do what I do and my number get called.
convince you, hey, like you belong here, like this yeah. is the level where you belong. Are you starting to feel that, whether it's in practice or moments like we had uh, tonight? I mean, yes, sir, I do. But in a sense, uh, it's still a, a thing with me. Like I never get comfortable. Uh, you know, I talk to Coach Gray a lot. He one of them guys. He always on me, man. He he see a lot of great things in me, and he bring it out of me as well. But yeah, it just always had the mindset like to not get comfortable. But I do feel like I belong here, and I want to continue, you know, to show everyone that I do belong here. I mean, uh, the mindset just as a defense in general, uh, we always want to be, you know, attack and be aggressive. Uh, you know, it's the NFL. Guys are going to get in the red zone, but just having the mindset that we have, you know, if you don't score, you don't win. So, uh, you know, they got in the red zone plenty of times, and, you know, we, we was able to turn them over on downs, you know, create uh, three, maybe four turnovers as a defense. Hey, that's crazy. That, that's good as a uh, defensive unit, and it, it just shows that, you know, the hard work that we've been putting in during camp, and it, it paying off. I mean, it just shows all uh, the, you know, from individual drills and doing camp, doing practice, uh, that's that's the mindset as a secondary. We want to, you know, create takeaways. And, you know, once we can get our hands on the balls, you know, the more turnovers you're able, you know, they have as a defense, it gives the offense more opportunities to put up points and, you know, win games. Uh, I mean, I seen uh, my guy Darren Hall. Uh, he was the uh, the jammer at the time. Um, I seen he made a key block, and I was able, you know, to to see him and also see the ball will coming short. So, you know, I could have fair catched it, but I was confident in myself, you know, to, uh, to be able to make that play. And once I see him sit up that block, I knew uh, the opponent messed up when he kicked it in the middle of the field and, and gave me a lot of field uh, to work. And so I just had to make make a guy miss, uh, seeing the field, and just let my speed do the work. Oh uh, yes, uh, it, it's never over, you know, until you know it's zero, zero, zero on the clock. But it's just crazy because I was talking to the guys. Uh, I I went out for the for a punt return at first, and he he kind of punted it out of bounds. But I told them like when I get my hands on the ball, I was gonna score. And you know they were like, okay, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Uh, I actually were kind of you know getting tight on the sideline, kept on waiting, man. But when my opportunity came, I was able to do that. Like I had told the guys, I was gonna do. I keep I, I kept the ball. I kept it. Yeah, for sure. Got to. Got to. First touchdown, yeah. Since high school. Since high school, yeah. Since high school. It's crazy. Uh, I, I, I got a few in college, but, you know, uh, it got called back a lot. So, yeah. It felt great, but. I mean, I, I kind of knew I was going to do it, so I can't, like, really explain the feeling because it's like it, w it was supposed to happen, you know, that type of feeling. But it feel great, man, and I'm just ready, you know, to get back to my phone, call my dad and talk to him and just see, you know, how happy they is for me. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Uh, I still got uh my, my ball from last preseason against Detroit, so I keep all my balls and stuff like that, though. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you.